Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and this is a revised version of installing Crouton onto the Acer C7 Chromebook. I'll explain a little bit later as to why I am doing this, uh, but from the very beginning, what we got to do is enter into developer mode. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to shut this whole thing down, and once it's powered off, you press Escape, F3, and the power button, and you hold down Escape and F3, And when this pops up here, you're going to press Control D. And then you're going to press Enter to turn OS verification off. And this process should take uh, about 10 to 15 minutes. So once this is done, we'll uh, come back and we'll be booted into uh, developer mode. Okay, so the process is complete. And when you reboot, you get this OS verification is off screen. And you can skip this by pressing Control D. A lot of people ask me if you have to press Control D. You don't have to. You could just sit here and wait the 30 seconds and wait till it beeps to uh, continue the booting process as you heard just there. And uh, there's no way to remove this OS verification screen. And if you press space to re-enable it and press enter, you're actually going to wipe everything out, all of your Chrome OS, you're going to restart it back to the factory settings and you're going to wipe out your Linux installation. All right, so uh, that's just a quick bit of information for you. And once you're presented at this screen to log in, it is very important that you uh, log in with your wireless or if you have a wired connection that you plug it in now and uh, just go ahead and go through the process of setting up your Gmail account with this uh, so that we can continue. All right, so now that we're all logged in and booted up, you're gonna start up the Chrome browser, and we need to download the Crouton file, and I've conveniently placed that at j.mp forward slash cb crouton, right? And once you type that in, you press enter, and it's gonna go ahead and download the little file here uh, right into your downloads folder. And so now we're gonna press Control alt t to bring up the terminal command, and you're gonna type in shell, then press enter and now here's where the part differs from my previous video and we're gonna take a look at what's inside the crouton file and what it allows us to pick and choose and the first thing we're gonna look at is the uh, target versions or the uh, desktop environments that we're able to choose from and to do that we type in sh space dash e space tilde that's a squiggly line next to the number one key and then forward slash downloads and it's important that you use a capital D and then forward slash crouton and then you're gonna type space dash T space list and now we're gonna list the desktop environments that we have to choose from and there's a bunch here. Here's the Unity, that's pretty much the standard one there. And then there's XFCE, right? And uh, here's XMBC, which is pretty pretty interesting, I would say. And, but the one that I'm going to choose is going to be Cinnamon, which is right here, right? So I have to make note of that. And so now that uh, we can pick and choose our desktop environment, I'm going to show you how to list the release versions. And so I press the up key there to bring up the same command again. And I'm going to press the arrow keys over to where it says T. And I'm going to replace that T with the letter R, right? And that's to list the re release versions. And so once you press enter here, if you notice down at the bottom here, uh, we have these Debian releases that you can choose from. And then we have the recognized Ubuntu releases, right? And by default, I believe it installs Precise, which is 12.04. And so Quantal, I think, is uh, 12.10. And then Raring is 13.04. And then Saucy is 13.10. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick Raring, which is uh, 13.04. It is somewhat the stable, newest, latest version right now. Saucy might not work out too well because it's just too brand new. 
all right? And so we have Roaring as our uh, release version, and then we have Cinnamon as our desktop environment. So just make note of those two choices. Uh, like I said, for yourself, you're going to pick whatever it is that you want to go through and pick and try out and play around with, all right? And so now we're going to run the command to install these two choices that you've made. And so to do that, you're going to type in sudo space sh space dash e space tilde forward slash downloads forward slash crouton space dash t and my target again was cinnamon so it's dash t space cinnamon space dash r space roaring that's my 13.04 right speak now forever hold your peace because once you press enter it's going to go ahead and download and install 13.04 with the cinnamon desktop user environment and uh, we'll just let this go through it'll take about for me it's taken about 30 minutes depending on my internet connection for you it may take uh, longer or it may be quicker and uh, just be sure to uh, kind of move the mouse around a little bit because if it goes to sleep and actually shuts off um, it's not that big of a deal. You just run the same command again and it'll actually pick up where it left off and continue on. Okay, now that the installation has complete, it's asking to create a primary user. And so I'll go ahead and create my user account. And then I'll enter in the password that I want to start with. You enter it in again. All right, and once you're at this screen, we can go ahead and start our desktop environment. So you're going to type sudo start, and then you're going to type in the desktop environment that you chose. So for example, if you picked Unity, you would type in Unity or XFCE. You type in XFCE4. I don't know why that is, but I chose Cinnamon, so I'm going to type in start Cinnamon, and it's uh, all one word, no spaces. And so once you press enter, it's going to now start roaring with the Cinnamon desktop environment. All right, so I know that some of you are wondering, why on earth am I installing or making a revised video with uh, installing Crouton again onto the C7? And so basically, I learned a few new commands on how to be able to list and choose your desktop environment as well as the release version. And it makes it a lot easier for my next upcoming video on installing Ubuntu apps, particularly installing things like Minecraft, Skype, LibreOffice, the Ubuntu Software Center, the restricted apps, as well as uh, Adobe Flash Player. And uh, you could update from 12.04 to 12.10 uh, or 13.04, but some things get broken and it's just too much of a hassle to try to fix those things. Um, so that's why I made this video on installing straight up uh, either 12.10 or 13.04 as well as your own desktop environment so you don't have to kind of mess around with all of that stuff uh, later on. And so be sure to check out my next video on installing those apps. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.